Hi, kid, and welcome to this entrepreneurial kid time story time. I know what that means. What does it mean? It means that you have a mind for business. And it means that you also wear a cool tie to work. Oh, that's an awesome idea. Why didn't I think of it? Sometimes I also have very good ideas. Totally true, dog. This is just one of the reasons why we are the best friends ever. Best friends ever. So, are we going to learn more things about how to be an entrepreneur? Yes, and start our own business. And, and be famous. And have a lot of money. Yes, all those things. Yeah, why not? But you know, there's a lot of work involved in being a successful entrepreneur. So I hear. So let's find out how. Let's do it! All right. I love my business-minded puppets because we got to go out there. We got to find our niche. What are we good at? What are we going to contribute to the world? And in so many ways, businesses do that. You know, like the computer companies have brought us technology that's made our world better. Well, there's just a million examples. But then how do you go about making your business change the world? What does it mean to be an entrepreneur? And here we have a classic Classic picture of the fella with a big barrel of gold coins and a top hat, but well, it doesn't start that way. Does it mean making lots of money? No. I mean, it could, but not necessarily what it means at all. That's just a potential result if you do it right. Does it mean buying a business like, say, this pet store for sale? No, we are told. Does it mean be speaking French? No. Oh. Oh, although Gilles the Giraffe might think otherwise, but Le Bistro, the menu, salad, the tomate, jambon blanc, quiche, oh, blah, blah, blah. It does not mean speaking French, although entrepreneur sounds like a very French, Frenchy French word. Being an entrepreneur means asking, what if? Hmm, she's thinking. He looks very sad and she looks mortified because we have had an ice cream incident. This fine looking redhead here has accidentally spilled ice cream all over her beautiful pooch's hair. Ugh, oh, that's gonna require an intense shampooing. Now, she saw the problem, right? Asking what if, and taking the initiative to solve a problem. So how do you wash a dog? caked in ice, sticky, sticky ice cream. Uh, do you put them in the washer dryer? No, you do not. Although that would be kind of cool. And uh, thinking differently and having original ideas. So now her mind is spinning. Do I take a washer dryer and can I modify it to wash a dog? What about, what about giant brushes on my hands that I can use to wash the dog? What about using a bubble wash machine to wash the dog? Looking for ways that are new and efficient to solve the problem of a dirty dog. It also means following your dream wholeheartedly and unwaveringly, even if it seems impossible. Unwaveringly means you don't stop, you don't hesitate, you just keep following the dream. And there she is thinking some more. Is it a conveyor belt like a car wash? with robots that wash and robots that rinse and robots that air dry on this conveyor belt? Is that what it is? Well, everybody else is skateboarding and taking pictures and hanging out and she's a thinking, problem solving in her brain. Saying, what else is being an entrepreneur? Saying, yes, I can. When others are saying, no, you can't. Moving forward, even though you are afraid. And that's a big one because being an entrepreneur, <laughs> I tripped over it. Being an entrepreneur means, doesn't mean that you're not going to be afraid. It just means that you keep pushing through even when you are, because you're always going to be a little sprayed when you try something you haven't tried before. Also being an entrepreneur, loving to learn and being curious. Now that's also just part of being a smart kid, loving to learn. Look, I wonder if she took a break to watch Kid Time Storytime about how to be an entrepreneur. And being curious, look at all the books she's got. She's taking notes. She's got a robot pal here. She's got robot drawings. I see that the whole robot car wash, uh, dog wash idea is still alive and well. Staying open to surprises is another way of being an entrepreneur. Why? Because if you're curious and you love to learn, 
to be open to ideas that surprise you, new things. An automaton, so like a robot man, huh? Could that be the solution? Taking risks, big part of being an entrepreneur. Having the humility to learn from your mistakes. So taking risks, making your own robot car washing dude. Learning from your mistakes, ooh, so I have to fix my robot car wash dude. But that was a good first try. Do we stop there? No, we do not. Staying positive and excited about the possibilities. So if you uh, first you don't succeed, you try, try again, and oh, striving for excellence. Hey, does this mean we're getting somewhere? Because an entrepreneur is all about striving for excellence. Also, it's working harder than you ever imagined, all while feeling a great joy. Why? because you're making something new and you're putting your stamp on the world. Feeling confident about exercising your own judgment. So she's trying it out. She's confident, she wound them up and boom, test subject looks like it's working. Wow, and what a cool idea, right? Being an entrepreneur means identifying a need. The need being the need to efficiently clean a dirty sticky duck and being brave and determined enough to create an innovative solution because for example she could she could take off that lovely coat uh, dress thing she's got on that fabulous hat put on some you know jeans and a t-shirt and get in there and scrub her dog but some people don't want to clean their own dog so what would the solution be huh robots <laughs> So let's encourage each other to discover if we have what it takes to be an entrepreneur and spread the word. Because if we support entrepreneurs, our world will be even more diverse, interesting, and creative. And interesting and creative it is indeed, Ray's robotic car wash, never before seen on the planet, Look at that, we've got the robot doing the washing, the robot doing the rinsing, the robot doing the drying on both sides. And look at that, out comes the clean dog and the robots did all the work so it's automatic, efficient, it's consistent, and it works like a charm. And our stylish redhead over here never had to get her hands dirty. And this one created a brilliant new way of getting something done in a very interesting way, don't you think? Ray's Robotic Car Wash. Oh, and this, the book, uh, and it's a series, uh, all kinds of how, how to be so many different things. We also have, uh, what does it mean to be uh, kind? And then we have, a, 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 there's a lot of really good books in the series, but what's really cool is in the back, um, it goes step by step, because if you're a business-minded kid, it goes step by step on how you can go about becoming an entrepreneur. And that was the story of what does it mean to be an entrepreneur? Ha ha, you know my dad was an entrepreneur. Hey, Mickey, what are you doing here? Well, I saw the story and I couldn't help but think about my dad. Yeah, tell me how he was an entrepreneur. Well, he saw a need because all the places where the kids went to hang out, yeah, well, they weren't so great for the rest of the family. Like the parents couldn't ride with them or the places were really lacking in magic. Yeah, I bet they were. But so he saw the need and said, I can do better. And he created Disney World. And that's how he became an entrepreneur that changed the world. Mickey, oh, I love you, Mickey. <laughs> Hi, Tuck. Oh, I, I, I also want to be an entrepreneur like your dad. That's great. Oh, I'll be back. Anyway, so I encourage you, kid, to do something to make the world a better place because we can all do it. My dad did it, and you you can too. Mickey! Oh, hi, Green Bear. Hi, hi. I, I, I love you, and I want to be like your dad too. Oh, that's so great to hear. Oh, well, hot dog. I also love hot dogs. Oh, I hope that you enjoyed this kid time, story time. I really did, especially since you showed up. Oh,